Divine, how'd that feel? Your, your hometown team, we're not in your hometown, but they came here to play. You know you're going to get a chance uh, to go back there. You've got, you got holiday break coming up real soon. How good did that feel going into the break? Oh, man. I mean, it's the best feeling I probably have all year because, you know, that's my home. That's my home school. And I literally live probably like 10 to 15 minutes away from them. And, I mean, I play with those guys, you know, throughout the summer when I'm back home working out and training. And, um, you know, it's, it was a little bit more personal than me than my other teammates. And I know they knew that. And I told them this was a pretty big game for me. I'm just glad that they um, stepped up big for me tonight in order to get this win. You've kind of taken on a little bit of a new role this year. Over the last couple of years, you've been the primary point guard, and Angel has come in and kind of complimented you. You're now moving more into a two-guard spot with Angel as the pure point guard. How has that changed how you've been playing? Um, I love it. It takes a lot of pressure off me as being a primary ball handler, you know, and him coming in, you know, me and him are, you know, always looking for our teammates, you know, passing wise and um, getting everyone involved. And I just, it's just wonderful to have, have him as, you know, a, as a point guard to compliment me and as I do the same for him. You've got back to back 23 point games. What's been going, working well for you the last couple of games? Um, you know, just staying aggressive, just staying aggressive and confident, you know. I mean, I had a bad game, the hour game, so I was really, you know, mad at myself and I beat up on myself a little bit. So, I mean, I just knew that I had to turn around quickly after that hour game because I was real disappointed in my performance. So, I mean, I'm just keep pushing forward and just keep continuing to get better on all cylinders. I'm going to ask you kind of a funny question. Um, I don't know if you realize this or not, on Wednesday night you go to the free throw line at the very end of the game with like 20 whatever seconds left with two free throws and a chance to get a career high and you miss both. Tonight you go to the line with about 30 seconds left. You needed to make both to get a career high. You made what? Is 23 your new favorite number? Oh, man. That's, <laughs> that's, that's nerve-wracking. That's, that's very nerve-wracking. I mean, I, don't, I, I honestly don't know how many points that I have through the game because I'm just, you know, just playing because I'm so focused in on me and my teammates. And that's, that's kind of that's kind of crazy that it always happens like that for the past two games. But hopefully that number will increase very soon. For the team, what's been different the last two games? Because the, the defensive intensity and just the energy, there's something's been different the last two games. What, what's changed? Um, well, we have a long talk with Coach Williams after that hour game, which I said that I was very disappointed in myself. And I know my teammates, you know, they really weren't happy how we play as a team. And we had a meeting um, at the hotel and it was like, you know, we can't, we can't go out like this. You know, each and every game, no matter win, lose, or draw, we got to make sure that we put up a fight each and every game out there to make sure that each opponent know that we're here and that we're going to fight to the very end.